Here is a short video to show you if you need more help beyond the written directions on how to embed a Google document in Weebly. Okay. Regardless of what kind of Google document it is, before you can embed it somewhere, you have to publish it so that there is embed code. So when you when you're, um, have your Google document open, go to File and Publish to the Web. And here you'll see two uh, possibilities, link and embed. You know how to do the linking. We want to embed because we want that Google document to actually show up on the web page. And you could do this for a blog post as well. So I'll click embed and I'll say publish. It's going to say, are you sure? Yes. And then it will give you the embed, embed code. So I'm going to copy it by pressing a controller command C. And then I'm going to go over to my Weebly page where I want to embed it. And here's the video um, that I'm going to embed right here. Um, but let me give a space here to embed the document. So I'm going to um, add in the embed widget. Okay, it says click to set custom HTML. So here I am, and I'm going to paste it. So I'll delete this part, and I'll just paste in what I copied. All right. And when I click out of it, just click anywhere in the black area around it. This is the problem. Okay, I can't drag by resizing it. Um, it just doesn't embed properly. So in the written directions, it tells you, um, here's the typical code. You got something like this. That's what I copied and pasted. But here is the part that I need to add to that coding, exactly where it is uh, right after the iframe bit of the coding. I have to tell it how wide to make it. And in this case, I'm going to make it 100%. And how high to make it. And this you can is variable. Um, I'll pick 750 pixels. You can change that number um, if you need it not so high or, or you need it actually taller. But you must keep the spacing and all the coding exactly the same. The easiest way to do this is just to copy what I've given you on this page. So I'll copy it and I'm going to paste it. So I'm going to go back into here. And it's sometimes a little tricky to get back in to edit the, the coding. Um, but if you click around, you get back to the coding. Okay, And here you can see it needs to come after the word iframe and a space. So I'll put my cursor right after iframe, add a space, and then I'll paste what I copied. Noticing there's a space as well before the rest of the, what I already had continues. Okay, So I've set it to be 100% wide and 750 pixels high. Now if I click out of it, now it's the right width. And again, the height is variable. This is all I have on this Google document. So I can actually come in and edit the height. I don't need it that high. Maybe I'll try 400. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Good. That's all I had on the page anyway, so that's the appropriate height for that. So that is how you um, publish your Google document, get the embed code using the embed code widget, pasting that in, and adding the little bit of extra coding you need exactly as it appears here.